What up, YouTube? Mike the Coder here. Today we're gonna go over the tree Huffman decoding trees thingy. Um, so basically, you have like a string and uh, ones, a string of ones, right? Ones and zeros. And a Huffman coding is like a, it's like this tree thing. Uh, by, uh, it's like a tree where the right side is one and the left side is zero. Okay, so you're gonna go, go one to the right and go one to the left to zero, right? Um, so now what the, the, what the problem statement wants you to do is that given this tree and your string, you wanna decode it. So uh, I'll explain how this decoding actually works. So let's bring up paint. Now let's copy this picture. And let's copy this. Oh, fuck. Let's copy this. Take this. Uh, let's do this. And we'll just do this. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how this actually works and uh, I'll explain how the output works. So let's say we're at this, uh, the starting string of one. So we're given this string and we're given this binary search tree or a, a Huffman tree thingy. So what what it's gonna do is it's going to look at your starting, your starting string of ones and zeros and ones and zeros. So essentially what it's gonna do is uh, it's going to go to the right node to the right side if it's a one and zero if it's a uh, it goes the left side of zero if it's a uh, zero and uh every time it hits a every time it hits a leaf node it's going to restart and go back to the top so in this example here we have we're going to start at the first value of one so it's going to go to the right of one and then it hits this right because it goes to the right to the one, and one is on the right side. It hits this, and it goes A. And since A is a leaf, right, it's just gonna print A. It's gonna print A, and it's gonna go back to the top of the node. So now, once it prints A, it's gonna go all the way back to the top of the root. Now, because we went back to the top of the root, now we're gonna start to the second, second value of zero. So we're gonna go to the zero now. All right, we're going to go to zero. So to go to zero, it's going to go to left, right? So because it's zero, it's going to go to left. And then afterwards, uh, we're not at a leaf yet, right? We're not a, not at a leaf. There's no, it's not a leaf node yet. So it's going to go to the next portion. So right now we're here, right? Going to go to the next zero, the next zero. And then what is the next zero? Um, because it's a zero, it's going to go to the left node. So it's going to go to here. Right, because it's zero, it's gonna go to the left. And then it's, we're gonna hit B. And now because B, B is a leaf node, uh, we're, gonna, we're just gonna print out B and we're gonna go up all the way back to the top, okay? And uh, the, the reason we know it's a leaf node is, a leaf node is basically that the left and right child are null. So as you can see here, there's no, there's no children in B, okay? So now that we hit B, which is a leaf node, we're gonna go all the way back to the top. Oh, whoops. Yeah, we're gonna go all the way back to the top. So I'm gonna erase this. And we're gonna go all the way back to the top, so it's now gonna to go to the root again. And now, since we already finished the last two zeros, we're gonna to go to this one. It's going to one, it's gonna to go to the right side, so it's gonna to go to here. So this part is a leaf, right? On the right side is A, which is a leaf, so we're just gonna print A. Okay, so after we print A, because it's a leaf, we're gonna reset back to the top because we hit a leaf. So we're gonna go back to the top and to the top of the root. And then we go to the next, we're gonna go to the next one. So we were at one before, now we're gonna go to the right part of zero. So we're gonna go to this part, this part, zero. So now we're at the top of the root and we're going to zero. So it's gonna go to the left side. So. It's gonna hit to this this part, this node. Okay, now because it's not a leaf, 
we're going to go to the next next node. So the next part of the string is this one. This one. This next one is the next part of the string. So because it's a one, it's going to go to the right part. So it's going to go to C. Okay. So now because C is a leaf node, we're going to just print out C. So we print out C. Okay. Whoops, my bad. Now that uh, C is done, now we finish printing out the leaf node, right? And it's a leaf where it's going to reset back to the top of the root. So now because we're resetting back to the top of the root, we're just going to go all the way back to the top. So now, now that we're back to the top, we're going to go over here. Back to the top. Now because we're back to the top, we are going to go to the the next next number, which is going to be the last one, which is one, and now it's one. So it's because it's one, we're going to go to the right side. So going to the right side, we're going to hit A, and then we just print out. And because A is a leaf node, right? There's no children. We're going to print out A. And yeah, and then now we're done with our string. So that's that's basically the reason why it outputted A B A C A. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna explain how this code works. Essentially, what we're gonna do is, um, uh, what I did was I create a temporary node head that's gonna always point to the root. And what we're gonna do is, uh, because we're going through the string, we're gonna actually loop through the string, so we traverse from zero to the sides of the string. And then if it's a one, we're just gonna to go to the right node. Root is gonna to go to the right. And if it's a zero, we're gonna to go to the left. If we hit both, if uh, both of the left and right nodes are null, which means that both of these are null, there's nothing here, right? It means that we hit a leaf. So if we hit a leaf, we're just going to print out our data that we're currently on, and then we're gonna reset the root back to the head. So we're gonna reset our current, current, uh, current root node, is we're gonna set it back to the head, because I said head to the point of the root originally first, so now now roots is going to equal to head, so it's going to reset back to the top, and then this loop will continue running until it works. So yeah, that's basically, basically the gist of how this code works, and uh, I got a seed on this. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, there's not, not much to talk about here, but yeah, peace.